Hello, my sexy and beautiful people of the internet. My name is Diego, also known as the Chilean Retro Gamer, and welcome to this new season of non serious gaming here on Chilean Retro Gamer 2. So, today's special is going to be um, about, as you can see in the title probably, my first PC memories. So, basically, I'm going to be playing those games that I played pretty much all the time when I had my first computer back in late 1997 so I'm gonna be showing you uh, some of the games that I played in uh, during that period 97 98 99 uh, before I discovered emulators and well by then pretty much I abandoned completely DOS gaming but during that good year and a half I played a bunch of PC games, most of them were shareware's demos because back then I didn't have access to the full versions unless I got a CD from a friend or something like that. But in this special I want to share with you some of the games that probably you have never seen me play on camera. Some others actually are games that I have done before on camera, but mostly this is going to be about showing you what I used to play when I was uh, 11 or 12 years old. Many games that probably you never seen before or maybe some of the games that you actually grew up with as well as myself. Um, but the idea is to share some of these first PC memories with you guys playing the good old classics and also some uh, hidden gems and that I want to share with you and, and get to remember some of these uh, games as well because in some cases there are some of the games that I want to feature that I haven't played in over 20 years. So uh, it would be a good opportunity for me to catch up with some of these titles. So just for reference and of course in any game that I play will have a story attached to it, uh, I don't know, something to tell in terms of experiences, but my first computer that I got in 97 was a MyTac computer, of course, a Windows 95 at the time, computer with, you know, the brand was MyTac. Uh, I don't remember the processor because back then I had absolutely no information or maybe I had information, I just didn't know how to look for it. But when we got this MyTech computer, we got a bunch of shareware games, uh, easily 30 or 40 uh, shareware games. None of them, of course, were full or complete. All of them were DOS games. Uh, there was a variety of genres, um, you know, first-person shooters, platformers, some arcade-style uh, gameplay. Uh, we used to have a little bit of everything. Well, even we got this game called the incredible machine which is very known uh, among those players even though i never understood it so they never played it but i do i did have the shareware version of it with the computer coming with the computer but i used to play easily out of those 40 games half of them like religiously and even though they were sharewares or demos i used to play the shit out of them regardless so i'm gonna start with a classic of classics, even though this game that I'm going to be playing now, I didn't play it too much, to be honest. I remember, well, I played pretty much uh, all of the shareware because it was only one episode. And I remember using cheats, actually, to get through the the game itself. That's why I'm warning you I'm not good at this one. Actually, I'm going to warn you at the beginning of every single of the gameplays. So yeah, I'm going to be playing Doom on the PC, of course, DOS. Because yeah, this game actually was in the uh, MyTac shareware collection. So I'm going to activate the sound. So you can hear things and stuff. Hopefully it's not going to be much louder than myself. Anyway, new game. We're going to play the episode that I used to have back in the day because the other three you needed to order them. I'm going to play it on the easiest difficulty because, as I said before, I'm not a Doom expert. I've seen lots of people play it, but it doesn't mean that I'm good at it at all. So yeah, I, got, I have actually very good memories of this. 
All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of trivia with this game, actually. Um, in my only 24-hour stream I've done in my life in 2009, I don't know why, but this was the first game I did on that marathon, and I did episode 1 completed. Uh, or complete. Yeah, am I fucking around too much? I'm not making progress fast enough? Sorry, guys. This is how I play video games. Back then, I didn't even care about picking this up. No, well, basically because I cheated. You know, I used to put this code that allowed me to have all of the... Cards, infinite ammo, all of the guns. Such a bastard, right? A cheater from little. From when I was a little kid. And I didn't give a fuck. Just like today. Zero fucks given. Alright, is it me or, or I'm really terrible at aiming? Among other things. Thanks. And I'm playing on the easiest difficulty uh, on, on top of all that. I'm sure I can aim better. Oh. I don't wanna run risks. Actually, I know we can increase the volume some more. I guess that's better. Remember guys, for those who are starting doing stuff on YouTube and usually complain about the volume level sometimes, but microphone has always has to be louder than the music. Always. Alright. At least I can claim that I beat a level on Doom. No secrets. <clears throat> Go to the nuclear plant. So yeah, uh, that's the trivia. I played this game at least episode one. Actually, I think I also played part of episode two because I basically in that marathon I used to like commit to play a specific game for two hours exactly. So I beat the first episode before two hours and I played a little bit of a second one. So yeah, good times, but this is about my early PC memories, not about what I did in 2009. You don't jump in this game, right? Um, but yeah, I played this game. My brother used to be more of an enthusiast of <clears throat> first-person shooters, the classic ones. He played a lot of this, he played a lot of Quake, he, he played a lot of er Heretic. Heretic. I, I play Heretic 2 probably as much as I play Doom. Just about enough. But I used to be a fan of 2D platformers at the time. I mean, I am still am a 2D platformer enthusiast. But back then, I used to be more of a fan than any other genre. Okay, back to the beginning, right? Oh yeah, but we have the key card. So... You can imagine what games we are going to be featuring in this series, even though I want to show you uh, a variety of genres, not only first-person shooters or 2D platformers. Again, I'm going to be sharing memories of my first PC in general. There will be many PC games, DOS games, that I'm gonna leave out of this because I used to play them at a friend's house, but not on my own computer, and I never played it on my own computer until I was able to, you know, get them through the internet. Or by buying them digitally, like it happened in some cases. So, the, the list will be 
<clears throat> generous, but at the same time, kind of limited in terms of amount of titles that will be featured. For example, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. Alright, we are enjoying some shotgun action. So yeah, Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, I used to play them at a friend's house, the, the PC versions. I mean, I played pretty much all of the versions at the time. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, a little bit of the arcade. Nice. I love those skills. But yeah, I mean... Okay, I feel like I aim better with a shotgun. <laughs> I need a blue key card. Okay. So yeah, I mean I but I did play plenty of Mortal Kombat 2 and 3 on the PC. Not much of one. Speaking of Mortal Kombat 1 on DOS, actually I did a full playthrough of it for the Backlog series uh, last year on the live stream. I recently uploaded it to YouTube on the main channel in case you want to check it out. In case you haven't checked it out. Check that out, sorry. Yet, so would be a good chance. I don't know what activated, but I guess this. All right, goodies, secrets. Actually, this don't think counts as a secret area. They count the secret areas and everything. Yeah, I didn't play much of Mortal Kombat One on PC, but I did play 2 and 3, but I didn't have them on my first PC, that's why I, I'm not gonna consider them on this series. I saw an enemy up there, I saw you. Fuck you! Now fuck you. I guess I'm getting more ammo. What is this? Is it worth it? I don't know. Again, there are a million secrets in this game that I simply don't know. So I ignore the purpose of many of these things. Wow, I got to kill that guy even from that distance? Wow, that's fucking crazy. Oh no, it got all dark! Okay, um, oh by the way, just to let you know, I am not going to do full playthroughs of any of the games I feature in here, remember this is non-serious gaming. I mean, if I feel like doing playthroughs, I do playthroughs like I did with Bubble Bubble or what I did with Contra earlier this year, but... The spirit of non-serious gaming is just play many games. And play them in the way I feel like, basically. That's why it's called non-serious, because, yeah, you shouldn't be expecting good gameplay or full completions. It's just something random, relaxed, chilling. Those type of things. I don't know, in some cases I can do longer gameplays, 20, 30, if I get hooked by the game, 40 minutes or so. I guess killing enemies from a distance is a good idea. I shot a barrel and I kill everybody in there. Good stuff. Oh, I got it. I guess you needed to kill all enemies in order to activate the staircase. I remember there was a level in here that I used to get stuck in and I got stuck like in half an hour when I did the marathon. I also remember playing Doom 2, also with cheats. That's a problem. But yeah, that version I, I had it complete. And I think I played like a whole afternoon of that, but nothing else. I don't know if that counts as a memory, but... I, 
I mean, it, I guess it does, because I do remember playing Dome 2 from beginning to end. Okay, I guess we can do one more stage. Hopefully this is not the one in which it gets stuck. Dude, I love that. It is satisfying as fuck. Radiation shielding out. Suit, sorry, out. Someone needs to learn how to read. Hey, hey, hey. Fucker. away from the guy. Hey! I shoot him. Again, we, we should thank the, the shotgun for that. It's not my skills. Why would it be my skills? This place... Wow! That felt satisfying. So we got this other weapon. I didn't get to read the name of it. Wait. Okay, they open up themselves. Yeah, when I... When I did the cheat to activate all the, the ammo or all the weapons, I used to use uh, this one a lot. A shit ton. Okay, this is the upper part. We need to find the blue door. Dude, I'm feeling a little bit fatigued today. Lost already? Well, not surprised. Back to the beginning of the level. Eventually I will find things. Oh yeah, I have a map. There you go. Always forget. I guess we're getting somewhere now. I still feel like exploring. I'm keeping this weapon because probably this is going to be the last level I'm playing today. So I'm getting the most out of the game, right away. Tight passages. Tight as your sister's ass. New enemy. I mean, it's not new for any of us who are kind of familiar with Doom. Or know about Doom. Fucker. I guess whatever clip applies to whatever weapon I currently have. I hope. Now, if you ask me, do you remember this area at all? I don't. I remember the first three stages very clearly. Why I do that, but I do it. Oh, hello. Where do you come from? I have no idea. Oh, here we go. It looks like the entrance door. It's confusing. Wait, exit already? That was a little bit anticlimactic. I was expecting a bunch of enemies attacking me at once. Anyway. This is Doom, everybody. 
one of my earliest PC memories. I don't know, my first computer, of course. So next time I'll show you another game that I used to play a lot back then when I got my first MyTag computer. Thank you for watching.